Red in community. But, and you agree that those were all being quoted very early? Yes, 100%. I Thank cannot you. disagree with yeah. that. How could I disagree with that? I have to put that forward, right? Third. Third, Third point, you said that in the uh, New think, Testament itself. In the New Testament, yeah. Yeah, you said in the New Testament itself, and you mentioned Peter. 2 Peter chapter 2 Peter three. chapter 3, yeah. He mentioned that actually. He said that the books of Paul were scripture. He says, so, yeah, yeah, books of Paul. It refers were, to the letters of Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So once again, the fourth one. What was the fourth? The fourth one was the Essenes, the Essene community. There was thousands of Essene. There was uh, a number of Essene communities around Palestine. Yes. That did copy scripture. Yes, right. So that's so there was already a sense of the importance of scripture Absolutely. in the time of Jesus. And you also mentioned just to tell you, and then the that last, would have been Old Testament scripture, not New Testament. Yeah, but, but what the point where I was making? Don't, don't contradict them. But the, but, no, no, no. But, I mean, on a historical yes, point, yes, yes, it's not a doctrinal right. point. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, 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 ye
I did one master's in history. You did one master's in history. What was your what was your question? Specialism, like there's lots of things. Fair about that. So, so in terms of dealing with this as historical literature, yes. Would you agree with me that the evidence of scripture itself testifies that a other scriptures were written that we don't now have? Yes. And that b those scriptures that are written were written by a believing community to a believing community and about a believing community. I think the second point is it could be this point, but I will, I will agree with it for the sake of argument. Okay, yes. so therefore, therefore, yes. this is why your question is flawed. Why then? Because you're saying that the authority of the believer yes. depends upon the book. And I am saying that the evidence of the scripture is clear, the authority of the scripture depends upon the community. Right, okay, perfect. But, now, now, can, but I, can I say something? Minute. We yes. have a difference. Can I say something? Sorry. We do have a difference. Can I do say something? Yeah. In the in the study of um, what was referred to as heresiology, uh, yeah, theology, It's a bit of a it's a bit of a word. It's a mouthful. Mouthful, Go on. Yeah? Um, obviously, an intellectual historian, yeah, would not look at it in the way that you just said because no, no, no. Don't characterize historians no, according to. Do you mind if I just you make this point? Yeah. Well, I apologize yeah, if, if I'm cutting you off. But what I mean to say is that. Um, for example, um, historiographies, which are books about heresy, yeah? yeah? So, for example, today I think both of you are agreed that the Gnostic community are heretic. Yeah, they were heretic. And, and you also agreed that other communities... Like that, the Aryans. Like the Aryans are also heretic. Yeah, well. and the Abionites. But, but it, from, a, from, a, from an intellectual academic perspective, it's fine for a believing community to believe in that. We also have the same thing in Islam, yeah? yeah. We also have the same issue. If you're a Sunni, you're going to call everyone else you know, heretic. And that's 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 that's, a, that's an ensured part. It's called the narcissism of small difference. We're always going to have it, right? What's your point? My point is this: is that you can't say a believing community from a from an intellectual historical perspective has no weight. What we're talking about is this. I didn't say that. I said exactly the opposite of that. Actually, Mohammed. Mohammed, because I also have a question for you. But I have, uh, can I just? Okay. Well, when you two have said something, can I? Because yeah. we have we have just a, a, a difference just, just, difference on epistemology. No, no, no. I point, I point. Can I suggest if we start descending yeah. into the right to speak that we time it so everyone gets a right no, to speak? No, of course, but yeah. I just want to just, just give it 10 seconds. I'm not, I know All right, that. 10 seconds, but then let me reply yes. and then let me ask you a question. You believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible, the New Testament corpus is, is uh, comprising of 27 books. Yeah. This is the Bible that you read and you think is the word of God. My question is, Athanasius is the one who told us that the 27 books belong to that Bible. How, why do you believe in his, his testimony? Why, why is he right? My okay, yeah. so, so allow me to address that question. And who gave him the authority? Well? Allow me to address that question, but, but I also want to ask you a question. Because Muslims have an even deeper problem. No, but can we do one? No, 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 let, don't, don't, don't dodge. Muslims have an even deeper problem. No, but I'm talking no, about no, the Bible No, 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 Mohammed, Mohammed, don't dodge. Because Muslims I'm, I'm have... I'm talking about yeah, the Bible. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not I'm not going to change the I'm topic. Not I'm not going to change the topic. Okay, perfect. But I, I, because we're talking about what happened 2,000 years ago in Palestine. So we need to assess all the evidence and all the arguments. So the argument of Muslims, that's you, yeah, says I'm that... Speaking on, I'm speaking on Mohammed, Victoria, Mohammed, no, yeah, that, no, that's fine, I can do that as well. So, Let's do that. Then. Right, then let's do that because yeah. the Quran says that 2,000 years ago a document called the Injil was given to a man called Isa. Now, I, I will now answer your question, but when you come back to me, I want you to answer my question. Yes. Because as a, as, a, as a historian, speaking as a historian, yes. I'm categorical and absolutely certain yes. that history gives us no evidence that. that this Injil ever existed. That's an argument from silence. Ever. That's an argument from history. Uh, that's called from no, no, no. We, we, no, no, no. We will you know that? No, no. One second. You know one that? second. Uh, one second. I know about the argu I know, I know about argument. I know about... I know about the argument. Yeah, from good, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, An argument yeah. from silence is you when you try to construct a reality based upon silent witness. No, no, that's not what it is. However, however, no, 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 one second. Second. it might be oh, so just no, Mohammed. Yeah. Mohammed, yeah. where yeah. I, I would I would present to you, you agree yeah. with me. It's an argument from you, silence. You, no, no, but this is the point. No, it's a good argument because when historians no, hold on. When historians construct history, yes, speaking as historians now, not as Muslims and Christians. When historians construct history, they gather the evidence that is available yes. and construct a narrative but, but based you, upon what evidence is available. John, John, In other words, that is the, the question, only no, way I, I that we construct question. history. I did ask you a question. Now I'll answer your question. Yes.
question. Now I'll answer your question. But I do want you to come back to me on the Injil. I have already, by okay. the way. No, you haven't. You haven't. Violence. Because you've distorted yeah. the historical process. No, no, no. Historians. Uh, can, can, let, 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 just, historians. Just, just, just I'll, I'll just, ask you a question yeah. before you go to mine. Because right. I feel like I feel like this needs to be gotten out of the way of, right? You said that an argument from you, you defined an argument from silence as an argument with, this, with no witness testimony or a silent witness testimony. Yeah. I'm saying an argument from silence works in a very similar way as an argument from ignorance, which is that the lack of historical evidence is cited as an evidence. And historians reject that as an evidence because if you say no, that... they don't. Okay, so why do they call it an argument from silence? Because that's a philosophical argument, not a historical no, one. No, I can tell you... No, 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 you're, con you're, you're confusing, you're confusing a, 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 a logical argument in philosophy with the historical no, process. How do, you and I both know how the historical process works, or you should do if you did a master's in it. Yes, what they do is they but take... That's what they say, I've read that. Though. Right, so what they do is they take... No, but then they take the evidence. Have you read it? Be honest, they take that? evidence. Sorry, sir. Can I ask? Can I get no, 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 no. One second. Have you read? Have you run away from the point? I'm not. I'm sure. You, you really are. Guys, 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 Mohammed, how, 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 how do historians? How do historians? How do historians construct history? Do they say, well? No, no, no. You're right. You're right. Thank you. No, you're right. Thank you. What I'm saying is, so based upon the evidence, is there any proof of an injury? Based upon the evidence, is there any proof of an injury? Can I make a point? Yeah. When you're making a claim, a positive claim against something, and you, and you cite the lack of evidence of something as an evidence. Let me give you an example, right? Let me give you an easy example. Yeah? Let's say you believe in the Dead Sea Scrolls. You know the Nag Hammadi, uh, the Nag Hammadi yeah. discovery? Yeah. When did it happen? Oh, uh, I don't know. It was 1900s and something. 1945, yeah? Yeah. I agree, yeah? The Nag Hammadi, as you know, it was something which was discovered in the desert somewhere. Yeah, in I Egypt. In Egypt, yeah. And I swear, I say, I don't know. But basically, it was a collection of collection of scrolls, Gnostic right? writings. Gnostic writings. Yeah. yeah. Including the Gospel of Thomas. If I'm not. Yeah. If yeah. I'm not, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I've read the book. Bro. So, 1945, they discovered these things. Yes. Quite recently, they discovered the Dead Sea Scrolls. They discovered many different books. Now, the point is, before 1945, let's say 1935, yep. where they didn't dig up the, you know, the desert and so on. I've got you, Mohammed. No, you get it? I've got no, you. No, I was going to say. I'm, you're in trouble. No, no, no. no, no you're no, no. in trouble. John, John, I don't need to be in trouble. We're learning from each other. It's not yep. about, it's not a boxing match. Oh, come on, come it's on. more fun. No, 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 it's not. John, John. <laughs> The truth should be sincere, right? Yeah, but honestly, right? Just yeah, we've had a good discussion. We've had a good, we want to keep it nice. I think we can, we're both capable of it. We've had, a good we've, had them, we've had them in private, the discussion. So I'm not sure. Once, once. Yeah, but five if, minutes. If we could do anyway, it in private, it, we could do it in private. Right. So what I'm saying is that if the Nag Hammadi texts in 1945 were discovered, 1935 where they were not discovered, if someone said, oh, such a thing does not exist, and they were only just discovered in 1945, that would be an argument from silence, which would in fact be disproven 10 years later. Except that, and here's where you're in, in trouble is that is that the historian oh, he's got me yeah, I have, I really have Mohammed. I really have got you. I really have got you. Because I'm done man! So, Mohammed, come down for the camera. Right? So so the point is Mohammed. The point is Mohammed. Is that historians never denied that the Gnostics existed. Why? They didn't wait until 1945 and then said, oh look, we've discovered this new group called the Gnostics. They knew about the Gnostics from year dot. And why? Because the Gnostics were spoken about in the Church Fathers. Yes, yes. So this isn't an argument from silence. We're arguing from what the evidence says. The Quran makes a claim about history. Everything we know about history contradicts that claim. The Quran says there's should be a book called the Injil. We have absolutely no evidence of its existence at all. None. Yeah. Zero. Yeah, but no, hold on. So hold on one second. No, but, you, but, you saw, you, you saw but do you agree? Do you agree that no. the New Testament that I have yes. was quoted by the Church Fathers? Yes. Right. So no, 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 not all the New Testament. Can I, can I be, can I be uh, particular about this? Which part of the New Testament yeah, wasn't yeah, yeah. Can, can I be particular about it? Yeah, of course. Can, can I make a point? My, my, yeah, uh, go on. Look, we, we've talked a lot. Go on. Can I make a point? No, but can I just... Can I make a point? No, no, no. Let, let, let him talk. Can I make a point? In yeah. history, there is the issue of uh, the argument of silence. Yes. That if something has not been found, yes. and someone claims that that's evidence for its non-existence. For its non-existence. The, the historian doesn't necessarily have to take that on board. But, yes. But, 
Yes. We have a weight of evidence. There's a weight of evidence yes. that's confirming yes. our position that he's saying about yes. the New Testament. No, I, I agree. And so, 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 so he has a point in what he's saying, approach, Jason, but you have a point in what you're saying. Your approach, I have to commend you for your approach. And I think, I commend you as well. You haven't been completely out of order. I think both of you have been all right. Thank I you like so much for your judgment, so, so I am, he, I'm blessed. He, he's, to, he's, he's going with this, but in, in, his, in, yes. in history, yes. the argument of silence yes. is not used as a good but argument. But that's perfect. So Jason, right now, what you've accepted is that, that just because you, something has not been discovered, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. All right. yeah. no, but, so but, but we have evidence. That's not my argument, though, is it? Yeah. What I'm saying no, I know it's my argument. Because the Quran is making a statement in history, and yeah. here are the statements. One, that there was a Muslim prophet called Jesus, two, that he yeah. received a document called the Injil, yes, and three, that his followers would be victorious until the day of resurrection. Yes, John. Right. Yes, but John. all of history contradicts those claims. The, it's like me no, saying... No, 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 now you're using no, no. the word contradiction. Hold on one please. second. Hold on one second. If I said... But do you have a historical right to use the word contradiction? One second. Yes. If, if, yes, I do. No, no, if, you, you if, don't. If, uh, one second. If I said... If I said yes. that there was, yeah. if I said that yeah. there was a city called Atlantis yes. that was sunk into the sea, yes, okay, yes, right, that's a historical claim. Yes, what would you do? Right. In what part of the sea? Right, you would start investigating it, right? Yes. And if you looked for evidence, yes, and you continued to look for evidence, yes, and you continued not to find evidence, what yes. would you conclude? You'd be agnostic. You'd be agnostic. Yes. Right. So thank you for agreeing that every Muslim in this corner should be agnostic about the belief no, no, in the Injil. As, Thank you. as a historian, I'm talking about a, historial, uh, a historian's perspective. Right? I'm not talking, That's what I'm doing. You said, no, no, you said Muslim. I, I'm not bringing religious belief into this. But we are talking about religion. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that... For Me and you are speaking way, as historians. I'm talking to all the Muslims can I, can around I, us. John, sorry. You know what actually happened? What you said? Yeah, no. People have investigated no, 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 all kinds no, no, of historical no, no, no. What you just said there, because you keep digging a hole for yourself. Well, I'm not, not really. really. Guys, not really. Can, can I just say something? No, no, Jason, please. I, I haven't, because okay. it's both of you. This I actually agree. happened. So there was a, a city in the Quran, it's called Iram. Yeah, Jason, stay out. And Iram, um, obviously, was in, it mentioned in the Quranic discourse, yep. but it wasn't mentioned in any yeah, other place. Yeah. But lo and behold, they found a city called Ur, I R, in the desert, which corresponded with the Quranic discourse. Well, now, the Bible has the same thing, but he actually called it Ur, not Iran. Yeah, so he actually no, called it Ur, so it, the Bible was okay. more accurate historically uh, than the Quran. Yeah, okay, you're going in from one point to another. It's called, it's called, called Ur, Ur, you said it. But Genesis says the city of the Ur, Ur, and, and, and yeah, the Quran the says Iran, and what, what you said it, those were your words, it was called Ur. Yeah, now, now so Genesis what, was more accurate. Accurate than the Quran. What, what language was the uh, uh, written? Let's, let's stick to that right, topic. Just stick to the main topic. Written in English? That's yeah, it. Well, I owe you an answer. I owe you an answer. John, I owe you an answer. Come on, I owe you an answer. <laughs> Tricky. I owe you an answer. So you asked the question about the authority yeah, that so Athanasius yeah, yeah, had right, to so describe the I, New can Testament. Can I ask the question one more time? So yeah, 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 of course. Can, yeah. can, consult with well, can I just say something quickly? Yes, of course. Yeah, quickly. Yes, yeah. I'm coming at it from a reformed perspective. Yes, of course. So it's a slightly bit different from Bob's perspective on the issue of the canonization. And, and when I give you my arguments... His name is John. When I give you my arguments... In his head. <laughs> I gave you my arguments from Dr. Kruger from Reformed Theological Seminary okay. and my own research Please, yeah, go ahead. and from the reformed perspective. Yes, yes, yes. It's slightly bit different from Bob's perspective. Yeah, go ahead, Jason. Although we agree on many things. Yeah. Just say right, so Jason, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. Well, I'll let you two talk. I just wanted to say that. Okay. No, no, um, no, what's the point that you want to make? Yeah, what's so the point? so yeah. You, you, put, you put more emphasis on the importance of the church. Yeah. yeah. Where epistemolo epistemologically, yes. when we were talking, yes. I was putting more emphasis on the inherentness of the scripture as an authority okay. in self authenticating itself in the community. Yes. Okay. So it's about the church recognizing the self authentication. Yes. So yeah. there's a slightly and that and that is and that is the so two I, the two I, positions are not contradictory. I, yeah. no, I'm just, talk, I'm just talking to his point now. Oh, right, right. One moment. Yeah. Because they the, the complement one another. Because the church did go through a process of recognizing what was scripture. So are you it did go through that process. Can I just understand the difference? So are you saying that you're saying that you're 
you're coming from like traditionally you'd call it a more Protestant uh, kind of um, it's reform Calvinistic all right so you're coming at it saying that the, 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 the scripture is the authority and the, within it yeah. yeah and then and then the believers the community recognizes recognizes that authority yeah. whereas you're saying that actually the believers create the authority for the scripture what I'm saying is that the, 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 the in terms of defining what is in the canon yes. it is a, a council of the church it is the church talking to itself and if in the process of it talking to itself yes. it recognizes the authenticity of a document and declares that canon so the two positions but, don't come no, but, no, but hold on that it seems to me like what you're saying is completely different to no it really isn't can i ask you can i tell you why there is an no, no. There, if you read the source if you read the westminster confession it talks about that scripture uh, is beautiful uh, it's a unity and so within within the scripture there is this self-authenticating by the holy spirit that it is scripture right yes so to itself yes whereas the more um, I'm not saying you're Catholic or anything, but the Catholic view is, is that more, it's that the church gives the boundaries of authority of what is scripture. So what do you think is more correct? Do you think that, because I'm a little bit confused, so I have to be the honest. Well, I mean, you're, you're obviously, you're playing the rhetorical game of seeking to play me and Jason off on one of Well, he knew this at the beginning. And, 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 what, and what I'm saying, what I'm saying is sorry, that John, the I'm, two I'm, positions I'm, don't contradict one No, no, John, sorry, I'm, I'm really trying to understand. I'm, that's what I'm doing, yeah? But the two come together because yes. because yes. the scriptures inherently yeah. authenticate themselves, but it, it, the community recognizes that authenticity. I, sorry, and he's, he's how could the scriptures authenticate themselves? They're an inanimate thing. Not because they're because all, the ultimate authority is God. So, would you agree? Yes. It's about so, recognizing the truth. You would agree a man can recognize truth from falsehood, right? Otherwise, why are you here well, giving using, dawah? Using what method? Exactly, exactly. So, but you agree that the search for truth is not in vain. Yes. That people can discover yes. truth. Yes. Right. So that is the point that we're making. But the John, scriptures. Can I ask one second. One second. Yeah. So the scriptures yeah. contain the truth of the apostolic teaching, yeah. and the church recognizes that in distinction to those things that yeah. veer off. Yeah. So are you saying, so can, I, can I ask a question then? So Are these we, positions are not contradictory. So, but he's saying that the, of, the, 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 the authority itself is inherent within the scripture, of the scripture. And you're saying that the believing community is what gives the scriptures the authority of being recognized as the scriptures. And you're saying, you're trying to argue that these two things are mutually exclusive. And no, I'm, I'm saying that they're I'm, complementary. I'm, no, I'm just saying. No, no, let me ask yeah, a question. So they're complementary. So bearing those two views, Points in mind, which are complementary, which in your mind are complementary. Yeah. We'll leave it to the viewers to decide. Yeah, of course, they are absolutely. Yeah, people can make up their own. No problem. My question is this: We talked about Athanasius. Yeah. What you said, and I remember what you said now, and Jason, you heard it as well. You said that the, ca the council was talking to itself. The church had a ca the church in the process of choosing the, yeah. was giving a council to itself. A council as in advice, but, discussion, but, right, discourse. But, right. So not not a formal council. No, well, th there were formal councils. But on the on the question, there were formal councils. so uh, John, my question is: What formal council took place to this? Side, what would be the New Testament? Sorry, the community. No, no, let me ask the question. What, repeat the question. The again. question is simple. What formal council took place, which had as a main issue of discussion, what would be comprised of the 27 or the, or the books of the New Testament? There were multiple. The Give council in Carthage, 410. Uh, that council, are you yeah. saying, hold on, this is actually problematic. No, it isn't. Can I tell you why it's problematic? You can try. Yes, because Athanasius was his short list of 27 books. Yes. Oh, sorry, I apologize. He preceded that council. Correct. Uh, and he gave got the left. short list of 27 books before yes. the council. And the council Adopted. affirmed it. Yes. So why, where's the Thank problem? Thank you so much. I'll buy you a coffee. No, no, no. no, no you're I'm right. talking about, you said that the, there was, you're making it seem as if there was a consultation process. There was. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, let me just, I'm trying to get to the bottom this, of this. This, this discourse wait, wait. was going on within the church as a whole. Here's my question. You're making 
it seem as if there was a consultation process and an ultimate consensus that was then reached That's to correct. decide to decide these 27 books of the New Testament are in fact 27 books of the New Testament. Yeah. What I'm saying to you is history begs to differ with that position. No, it doesn't. I'll tell you why. Can no, I tell really you? Can, can, can I? No, no, no. Can I put? Can I put forward an argument? You can put forward an argument. Okay, okay. but I disagree right. with the premise. So we agree. No, we don't. I haven't said no. Don't go, please. And then you can disagree with me after. But I'm not stating now your premises are wrong. No, no, no. Well, you haven't even heard them. You're poisoning No, I know. You, 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 yeah, you, yeah. you gave right. your premises, no, and now you're going to give your argument. I'm right. saying your premises are wrong. Right. Let me just make the, the argument. I'm sure that many of the points I might be making might be flawed, and that's why you guys are here they to correct are. me. Yes, but you have to do so with evidences and reference. Of course. Okay, which I'm sure you will do. Yeah, you're both here yeah. together. Yeah. Now, the, the question I'm saying is this: is that you, we all agree that different groups that um, that self identified as Christian, yep. the early Christian church, yep. uh, when referring to the Gospels, were to, referring to or had different books and canons. No. Now let me give an example, which we all agreed upon on the camera, right? One of the examples is Gnostics, which of course are not seen as Christians by the majority. So, so you, you, you're immediately, you're immediately fudging, fudging your own goalposts. That's a self-identified Christian. The Gnostics, Gnostics, you, you're trying to bring in a group yes. that are not Christian no, about I, a discussion I, on Christian Text. Are we talking about history? history? Yeah, we are. Can we get on the history? Yeah, yeah. Can I just bring no, no, no. Sorry, on the Gnostic? Because I know a bit about history, Historically, we said we're moving away from this whole hi 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 historiography of they're the right group and we're the wrong group, the narcissism of small differences. We're saying, I use my words very carefully, but you're, you're usually quite shrewd, yeah? But you didn't listen to what I said. I said self identified Christians. Yes. I didn't say Christians. Which are not part of the historical no, argument, but, but, are they? John, please. I said self identified Christians. If I say, Ahmadis are self-identified Muslims. I don't believe that they're Muslims. I don't. Exactly. But they they identify themselves as Muslims. So would it be fair of me to make pronouncements about the no. development of Islam based upon the evidence of the Ahmadiyya? If they were the early community. Would it? Yes. If they were the early community, it would be. Right. So yeah. so we'll, that brings up the issue of your... Okay, I'm going to do it after. I'm going to so so that, yeah. that brings up the issue of why Shia and Sunni can't agree about your hadiths. The earliest no, community let's go, let's go of Muslims... The discussion. It's it's, it's parallel to the debate. Well, you are going to scope You're trying about. to criticize the Christian faith based upon debate. We can talk about the Christians. We can talk about Hold on one second. I'll, the, the, I'll have a one second. We, we, we are just going to go on. We won't. We won't. We won't. We'll come back to it. it, it we'll it, come back to it. People will say, not me. Why is it? People will say, no, 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 no. Why is it Muslims are always frightened to see the parallels in their own religion? I'm not frightened. Right, so if you're not frightened, let me make a parallel. No, let's not. Let's talk about Islam as well as Christianity. Right. We did talk about epistemology and presuppositions, and that that means he can talk about your presupposition. Fine. Exactly. No, no, no problem. I agree. But no, no, Mohammed. No, I'm going to make a point because you spoke for a while. So Athanasius, you got. Yeah, I'm going to deal with. I'm going to deal with Athanasius, yeah. and I'm going to deal what with the council. council? For example, let's compare point. Athanasius to the Moratonian canon. Do you know about the Moratonian canon? Of course you do, because you've got this great masters in history, and you know all about the canon process, right? Do you know about the Moratonian? Are you, canon? Are you, are you a bit I, jealous of my I'm mocking you. I'm mocking you. <laughs> Don't so, be jealous, I'm mocking you. you so, 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 do you know about the Moratonian Canon? You can teach me about it. Right, so is that a yes or a no? You Let do or you don't? Do you know it? No. Listen. Right, okay. I'm ignorant. Right, so he doesn't know about the Moratonian Canon. Yes. So we'll go... That me the and, and how, and how, and how we're going we're gonna, and we're going to deal with the Moratonian Canon, the letter of Athanasius, and why the whole logic of argument that Muhammad is now using is totally flawed. Because Muhammad is trying to discredit the Christian faith because of debates within the early church with the debates within the early church about our canon of scripture that debate was settled by christians by 410 ad muslims today still can't agree upon which hadiths are reliable they all claim to have this brilliant science of hadiths and yet sunni don't trust shia hadith and uh, shia don't trust sunni hadith so why then, when you use the hadiths to interpret the Quran, is this not discrediting your faith, but a debate that happened similar to the one that is still going on amongst Muslims today, yes, yes. that we Christians actually managed to come to a reconciled answer on, yes. discredits our faith. Now let's deal. Make a good point. Let, uh, now can, let's can deal I with. Agree the, with you on a point. Okay. Let, can I, can I agree with and you? then I'll deal with the Muratorian yeah. and the Athanasian. I think you're right to compare, to some extent, the hadith and the uh, and what do you call it and the, and the, the canon of scripture yeah because Ibn Taymiyyah in his book he wrote a book called 
a job a job uh, which means like the, the right reply, right? And in it, in it he does the same thing, in fact. He says that the Gospels, and I think what he was referring to was the four Gospels, which he said that has no senate, which means it has no chain of narration, it has no provenance. Yeah. Um, and that was his main criticism. He said that they have no provenance, but he said that uh, those Gospels can sometimes be seen where it doesn't contradict the Quran to be quite similar in rank to, for example, a weak or fabricated hadith, etc. But the point is, we should be comparing like for like. The hadith is good, and I agree with you that there are lots of fabricated hadith and weak hadith which we should reject. But you're not agreeing with me that the, the, the gospel should be rejected. The hadith are not the same as the no, 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 but when were the hadith? Here's the, here's when, the, where was the first Jason, copy Jason. Of, of Bukhari? 200 years yeah. after Muhammad. So when the was same. the first, when was the, when were the gospels written? I mean, you're a historian. Well, it depends on which one we're talking about. All of them, all of the gospels. So but the, what is the last date that we can so say so confidently? So all the gospels, when were they all concluded to be written? 95. 95 AD. So our Gospels are far no, closer, a, 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 yeah. far closer to but, the reality but that's a, that's, than your Hadith. But, and that's a good qu uh, question, but it's falsely un understood. Let me tell you why, right? It's your understanding of Bukhari. I want to get on to Athanasius no, 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 and the Maritonian canon. This has to be corrected because, yeah. to be fair, you might. I, I see that you have done a bit of research when it comes to oh, Christian early history. Thanks, G. That's really kind of you. No, no, no. But when it comes, to, <laughs> would you accept? Would you accept that maybe your knowledge of Islamic early history is not? As strong. Um, yeah, I think that'd be a fair. That's fair. All right. So, would you accept me if I were to give you um, evidences? I want to see the evidence. Right, so, for example, Bukhari, right? Yep. Say he died 230 AH. After Hijra. After Hijra. So, Muhammad's long dead by he, this point. Uh, Muhammad died at 11.